know what is heat and how we measure it, let's go on to finding out more about how we can compare heat and temperature. Now, why do we need to know the difference between heat and temperature? Very simple. It is because that these two terms are actually very different. But most people confuse the two, thinking that if I refer to heat, I am referring to temperature, and when I refer to temperature, I am referring to heat, which is actually not true. Now, why do we need to know the difference between these two terms? It actually helps us to understand energy better, the whole idea of energy better. Now that I have explained to you the need. Let's find out why people mix up these two terms and confuse themselves. In our everyday experiences, we are led to believe that when we heat something up, the temperature increases. And the relationship that we see from this is that if there is more heat, there will be more temperature. So, heat and temperature are the same. But unfortunately, this is not true. In fact, um, I would say that this is far from true. true. It is not a fact. All right? Now, we know that energy is a form of energy. Uh, sorry, heat is a form of energy. And temperature is actually the measurement of heat. So, how can temperature become energy. It is not a form of energy, but heat is. And another thing is that, as I told you, we measure heat um, by taking the temperature of the substance. So temperature is actually the number that relates to heat energy that the molecules of a substance possess. Unlike temperature, heat cannot be measured using a thermometer. We can only measure temperature using a thermometer. Now, let's see what I mean by this. Now, when a substance is heated, all right, as it gains heat, its temperature also rises. Temperature is a measure of how hot or cold a substance is. It does not tell us how much heat is inside the substance. You must understand this as it is very important. Now, temperature can be measured using a variety of units. In fact, I introduced this during the section on measuring heat. If you can remember that, it will be good. We use the Kelvin scale. We also use the Celsius scale and we use the Fahrenheit scale. So these are the various units that you use to measure temperature. Now, when heat comes into a substance, we will say that the substance has energy. So energy has actually come into it because, as I told you so many times before, heat is a form of energy. Now that the energy can go into that substance, enter the substance, so it can be used to increase the movement of the molecules. As I told you, when you heat something, uh, a substance, the molecules in the substance start to move faster. So that is why when we say heat is gained, that means energy of the molecules in the substance is also increased. Now, this causes and increase in the energy the molecules possess as they start to vibrate much more than they were earlier before heat was gained by them. So the temperature of the substance increases because of the molecules vibrating inside the substance. Let's have an example. Look at the pictures. You've got Beaker A, which has 100 milliliters of water, which is actually hot. 
and you've got beaker B with 100 milliliters of cold water. As you can see, both beakers have the same amount of water, but their temperatures are different. A has a higher temperature than B because A is hot water and B is cold water. Another thing about them is that, as I mentioned earlier, they have the same amount of water. Water in A has more heat than water in B, which is true because hot water will definitely have more heat than cold water. However, if I were to change this setup and I put 100 milliliters of water at 60 degrees Celsius into beaker A, but I only put 20 milliliters of water, which is at a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius as well, into beaker B. So here you can see that both beakers have water at the same temperature. So there is um, the same uh, temperature uh, of water in both beakers. But beaker A has more water. So more heat is required to warm it. However, beaker B has less water in it. So definitely, it will require less heat to warm it. So I can safely say here that beaker A has more heat than beaker B because of the quantity of water which is actually at the same temperature. Now we have come to the end of the section on comparing heat and temperature. I hope that you understand what is the difference between the two terms, heat and temperature, as it is very important in order for you to understand why they are uh, used in learning about heat. And in fact, it helps you in the general understanding of energy.